But first, Barry Morphew, the man accused of killing his wife in Chaffee County, facing more charges tonight. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for Fox 21 Local News Right Now at 5. I'm Scott Kilbury. Suzanne Morphew had been missing since Mother's Day of 2020. Nearly two weeks ago, her husband, Barry Morphew, was arrested for her murder. Now he faces even more charges. Fox 21's Lauren Scharf has been following this very closely from the very beginning. She joins us now. Now, Lauren, police are now saying that the timeline of the crime is actually different than Suzanne's reported disappearance? Yeah, Scott. According to court documents, the murder occurred on or about May 9th. Suzanne Morphew was reported missing to the sheriff's office on the 10th. A five page complaint was filed today, and it spells out each charge. On top of the first degree murder, tampering with physical evidence, and attempt to influence a public servant charges, Barry Nial faces tampering with a deceased human body and possession of a dangerous weapon. Prosecutors believe Barry possessed a short rifle unlawfully. The complaint lists at least eight investigators who Barry attempted to influence by the deceit or other means. Barry has maintained his innocence over the past year. However, he didn't participate in the large-scale search Suzanne's brother put together in September. Investigators say they have not recovered Suzanne's body. The arrest affidavit has not been released yet. Barry's next court appearance is next Thursday. He is being held without bond. Barry has also hired two private attorneys, Iris Eaton and Drew Nielsen. Tonight at 6.30, I'll dive into both of those lawyers' history, one of which may sound familiar based on another high-profile murder case in Colorado. Scott. Suzanne Morphew has been missing since Mother's Day of last year, and investigators say they have not recovered her body. Fox 21's Lauren Scharf has been following this case closely. Lauren, do we know what the murder weapon was? Brandon, no, but this is the first time we are learning about a weapon that Barry unlawfully had, which was a short rifle between May 9th and March 4th. This five-page uh, complaint was filed today, and it spells out each charge. On top of the first-degree murder, tampering with physical evidence, and attempt to influence a public servant charges, Barry now faces tampering with a deceased human body and possession of a dangerous weapon. According to court documents, the murder occurred on or about May 9th. Suzanne Morphy was reported missing to the sheriff's office on the 10th. The complaint lists at least eight investigators who Barry attempted to influence by, the, by deceit or other means. Barry has maintained his innocence over the past year. Investigators say they have not recovered Suzanne's body. Two private attorneys, Iris Eaton and Drew Nelson, are taking his case. Iris has brought more than 50 cases to trial. Drew just recently represented Crystal Lee Kenny, the former Iowa nurse who helped put away Patrick Frazee. She helped her get less time behind bars for her testimony. They both secured an acquittal by jury in the Tom Fallis case. He was wrongfully charged with the murder of his wife in 2012. Barry's arrest affidavit has not been released yet. He's next, uh, his next court appearance is next Thursday. He is being held without bond. Tonight at 10, we'll hear from Barry from an exclusive interview I did back in August. Barry Morphew, the man accused of killing his wife in Chaffee County, facing more charges tonight. Good evening and thank you for joining us for Fox 21 Local News right now at 10. I'm Scott Kilbury. First on Fox 21 tonight, accused murderer Barry Morphew is facing new charges, all in connection to the death of his wife Suzanne, the 49-year-old mother of two who was reported missing one year ago on Mother's Day weekend. The whereabouts of her body still unknown. Fox 21's Lauren Scharf has followed this case closely since day one. Now, Lauren, what do these new developments tell us about this case? Scott, the Chaffee County District Court released this complaint today. It gives us a better idea of how prosecutors are moving forward and exactly when they think this crime was committed. As of Tuesday, Barry Morphew now faces a total of five counts in connection with the disappearance and murder of his wife, Suzanne. Those in addition to forgery and ballot fraud, in a separate case, police accusing Morphew of submitting a presidential election ballot on Suzanne's behalf, months after she was last seen alive. I'm not going on camera. I am not going on camera. Okay, I won't do it. Morphew has maintained his innocence over the last year. That sound from my exclusive September interview on the phone. And I am devastated that she is gone. I am devastated. It has crushed me that I cannot find her and don't know what happened to her. 
And I understand, I understand that the FBI has to look at me because of the statistics and the percentages, and I have put up with that with them. I have done it. The updated complaint lists the names of eight public servants, all whom Barry allegedly tried to influence. Several are investigators who work for CBI, the FBI, the Chafee County Sheriff's Office, and the District Attorney's Office. She's gone. That's why I think she was abducted. If she's gone and I can't find her around the house, then somebody's taken her. During my interviews with Barry last year, he mentioned several theories of what may have happened to Suzanne. My wife is probably the most beautiful woman in this county. And any bad guy would do that if they had the opportunity. How do we know somebody didn't hit her on her bike and kill her, but was on drugs or alcohol and, won, and freaked out and, and panicked and took her? How do we know anything? Because all the evidence right there is gone, Lauren. But the courts say otherwise, and Barry has been in custody since May 5th. He's being charged with first-degree murder and tampering with a deceased human body between May 9th and May 10th, a day before Suzanne was reported missing. He's also charged with tampering with physical evidence and the unlawful possession of a short rifle. Barry Morphew is being held without bail. Morphew is set to appear in court next Thursday. Well, we expect uh, he'll be joined by two new attorneys. He's hired one of them. You may remember from another high-profile murder case here in Colorado. You can learn more about them on our website, fox21news.com. Scott. Continue to follow it. Thank you, Lauren.